Today, let's learn how to set up the PokeCord bot. In my Discord server, we often use the PokeCord bot to engage users and have a lot of fun. The PokeCord bot is essential to many servers to add economy, fun, and overall just a great experience. Let's learn how to add it and set it up so that your users can have a lot of fun in your server. The first thing we're going to want to do is head to pokecord.com. I'll have this link in the description below. After this, on this page, you'll see this blue button that says add to your server. Let's select this so that we can add the bot to our Discord server. Make sure that you have permissions to add the bot. If you don't see the server that you want to add the bot to, that means that you do not have permissions. Let's make sure that I have permissions in the server. I'm going to go into the server settings and rules section. Here, I actually have the administrator privilege, but make sure that you also have this manage server checked. After this, click continue, and it'll pop up these various descriptions. These are all of the things you're giving access the bot to. These are all very harmless as it's just managing sending messages so that the bot can interact with your community. I'm going to select authorize and complete this captcha. Just like that, the bot is now authorized and has been added to our server. Let's head over to this verify section. As you can see, the PokeCord bot has successfully been added. Make sure that the bot is visible in the section that you want it to be. The bot must be able to see all the channels in your server so that it can interact. Now we can test it by pinging PokeCord. We do add PokeCord, it will respond. PokeCord uses a prefix P exclamation mark. Let's try a few commands. P exclamation ping. This essentially says a uh, response along with the time it took for to do that response. Now let's learn how to set it up. One of the first commands you're going to want to do is p exclamation start. This allows you to select your starting Pokemon. There's various generations and all of the fun characters in the series. You can then follow this command by doing p exclamation pick and the Pokemon that you want. What you'll notice is that various Pokemon will then start to spawn into chat. For example, this Pokemon here is called Rattata. I can catch it by doing P exclamation catch Rattata. This will encourage users to stay active in your server and catch Pokemon. They actually also learn and gain XP by talking in chat. Here, by sending messages, I will gain XP in this bot. It encourages people to stay active. Now before you leave, let's quickly go over one amazing thing in PokeCore. What you may not know is that it's really easy to gain credits. One of a way that I would suggest is by using the pdailyclaim command. Go to this link, it'll be down in the description below. The top GG website essentially has various bots listed. Here you can find PokeCore. You'll see that there's a button that says vote, select this. After this, we can click the vote command to vote. You can vote every 12 hours. I've already voted for it, but you can come back every 12 hours. The bot will then DM you saying that you voted. Thank you for voting, you received 200 credits. In order to claim your credits, simply do P exclamation point daily claim. This will help you come ahead of the other users in your server to gain free credits. Another cool thing about PokeCord is the shop. PokeCord Shop has a lot of items, and very cool ones. There's various evolution items, held items for your Pokemon, and all sorts of things. You may think the bot is limited since it only has the Discord privilege, but it has a whole lot of features and a whole lot of commands. I'm going to finish off by removing PokeCord from my server. Just like that, we added and set up PokeCord extremely easily. Make sure to leave a comment down below with your Discord server so we can all check it out. I'd love to see what you guys are doing in your servers, so make sure to let me know so I can come and check it out. 
Make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed this video and subscribe if you have more tutorials that you'd like to see. As always, just let us know below if you have any ideas or anything that you want to convey. We read and check on on each and every single comment. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.